The Brown family drew public scrutiny when their unconventional lifestyle was featured in the reality television series, Sister Wives. Being able to live openly in a polygamous family is something that the patriarch, Cody Brown, considered the miracle he experienced in his lifetime. He is proud of his family and wanted the world to keep an open mind on their way of life. The demands of being a husband of four and a father of 18 are certainly greater than those in a monogamous relationship. But according to him, everything is worth it, as the joy and love are more than he could have imagined possible. Cody was raised in the Latter-day Saints, LDS faith, and when he was 19, he was sent to Southern Texas on a two-year mission for his church to evangelize and convert people to their religion. While he was there, he received word that his parents were excommunicated from the LDS church, as they had joined a fundamentalist Mormon faith that practiced the principle of celestial plural marriage. Although he was heartbroken and worried for their spiritual well-being at the time, he was not entirely opposed to the idea, as he became interested in the polygamous lifestyle after his mother explained its doctrine to him when he was about 14. In the Apostolic Union Brethren, a more liberal sect of Mormon fundamentalism, entering into a plural marriage is considered to be a pivotal step in one's spiritual development. Not all people in their congregation entered into polygamy, despite supposedly believing in its doctrine. However, Cody deemed it was wise to accept when one was presented with the opportunity. As he said, it's a calling, something we are summoned to by God. It's a commandment in our scripture, fundamental to our belief system. His father had taken a second wife, and his mother wrote to him all good things about having a sister wife. Cody experienced the love and warmth by extension when he returned home to Utah, saying it was a wonderful evolution of another woman loving his father as her husband and loving Cody as a mother who loved a son. He began attending gatherings of members of the church and was inspired by how committed they were to their ideologies. Around this time, there were two things he was seriously contemplating, converting to Mormon fundamentalism and marrying Mary, whom he'd fallen in love with. Two days of fasting and praying to God helped him decide on the path that he should take. And when he informed Mary's father of his desire to join the faith, the latter made the arrangements for his baptism. After that, Cody legally married Mary in 1990, and he later had spiritual unions with three more wives, Janelle in 1993, Christine in 1994, and Robin in 2010. It was important to Cody that he had a spiritual connection with the woman whom he was considering to be his wife, and the woman would be willing to join herself not just to him, but also to his other wives. Before he could court another, he had to have his wife's blessing, as his first duty was to them. He said, I believe that with each of my wives I share a destiny, and that together we five adults were predetermined to be one family. We are meant to be. Marrying four women wasn't something he did on a whim or out of a sense of machismo, as the principle of plural marriage was sacred to him. Most people couldn't comprehend that it was possible to love four wives equally, with the same passion and intensity. But Cody said, it's one of the things you do unconsciously, something so deeply ingrained in your psyche and your way of being that you never question it. The simplest analogy that he could give is the love of a mother for her children. She loves them individually for different reasons, but her love for one wouldn't be any less or more than the others. His wives were so different from one another that each of his marriages were distinct. He was discreet about it, making sure that there was no overlap, no sharing, nothing untoward or salacious. He shared that his love for them was so deep that he couldn't imagine being without it. There had been many misconceptions about polygamy, so it seemed prudent for the Brown family to keep their lifestyle private. They were never ashamed of their religious belief, but they didn't want to be judged or stereotyped. Warren Jeffs, the leader of the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, was sentenced to life imprisonment after he was found guilty of sexual assault of the minors whom he married. His story and the way he ran the church had put polygamy in a bad light. When the family was invited to do sister wives, Cody was immediately on board as he wanted to change the public's perception of polygamy. As it chronicled their lives, it would be easy to see that they weren't really that different from any other family. The couch sessions in the show had become some form of therapy for them. As family issues were brought up, it created tension as they became aware of what each one was thinking 
and how each relationship was faring, but it also helped them deal with it head on. These revelations further enlightened people on the reality of their situation. Cody was hoping that the TV show would help create a world that would be more tolerant of their way of life. The airing of the TV series, Sister Wives, was liberating for Cody and his family, as they no longer had to hide what they were to each other. But there were serious repercussions. Most members of their church were disappointed or angry with their decision, as they believed that being on TV would violate the sanctity of plural marriage, and that they would be subjected to criticism and ridicule. Their own families were upset, as it meant they would be outed as polygamists by association, although some had come to terms with it as long as they weren't dragged into the limelight. Polygamy is illegal in all U.S. states, and the Lehigh City Police began their investigation of the family. Fearing for their safety and criminal prosecution, the Brown family moved to Las Vegas. However, no charges were filed against them. They later sued the state of Utah to challenge its anti-polygamy laws, but clarified that they were only after decriminalizing polygamy and not necessarily legalizing plural marriages. They prevailed in the 2013 district court ruling, but the case was dismissed in 2016 by the U.S. Court of Appeals. The court said that the Browns need not fear prosecution, as polygamy cases weren't pursued in the absence of additional crimes such as child trafficking or child abuse. The Brown family knew the risks when they agreed to do a TV show, but said that they were worth taking. Mary and Cody were very much in love and knew from the get-go that there would be other wives in the relationship and often had discussions about it. Mary was even looking forward to being friends with them, but the reality of sharing her husband was something she didn't handle well and made things difficult for the sister wives of Cody. She and Cody were married for three years before he married Janelle, who had a short-lived marriage with Mary's brother and had developed a cordial relationship with her. Mary was relieved that Janelle didn't threaten the love that she shared with Cody as their bond was said to be more intellectual than romantic. Janelle felt more like a house guest instead of a wife when she finally moved in with them, but it didn't help that the two women had different personalities, so they didn't get along. Mary was devastated when Janelle became pregnant, as she and Cody had been trying to have a baby for years. Later, the two women found a way to have a functional relationship. Mary had a much harder time accepting Christine as a sister wife, as she sensed that Cody was not just smitten, but in love with her. It bothered her when Cody was away, spending time with Christine during courtship, and when he only called her once during their honeymoon. After the two were married, Mary found some common ground with her, but the relationship was only good on a surface level. When Robin became part of their family, Mary felt unloved and unwanted, so she wasn't as welcoming as she should have been. Cody was left in a tough position, but he tried to find ways to make things work for everyone and build a happy home. The financial aspect of a polygamous family was quite challenging, as Cody essentially had four families to support. He had one child with Mary, six with Janelle, another six with Christine, and five with Robin. There were times when they lived together under one roof, and times when each sister wife had her own house. Cody wasn't well off, and it took him a while to establish a career, but he somehow managed to provide for all of them. All his income went to the family, and he distributed it according to who needed it most. As he elaborated, if a wife needs a bigger car because she is expecting a new child, I prioritize that. If another wife needs help completing a major home repair, this takes precedence over something more trivial. His wives who had their own incomes contributed to the family what was left over from their own expenses at home. If one of his wives chose not to work and looked after their children instead, he made sure she would be taken care of. There was a time when Cody, Mary, and Janelle shared a bank account and they worked out a budget for the bills, the family, and personal spending. However, Janelle felt that Mary was controlling their finances, so they decided it was better to have their own separate bank accounts. This arrangement continued with Christine and Robin. There were lean times, as there were too many of them in the family, and not all of them had stable jobs, but their finances improved considerably when they started receiving money for starring in the reality show. It was reported that they were paid 10% of the production's budget for each episode and was split among them. TLC's budget was said to be $250,000 to $400,000, so they received $25,000 to $40,000 each. Cody was staying with Robin during the COVID-19 pandemic when he and his wives met to discuss the rules he set if they wanted him to visit their respective homes. He said 
that he was doing this for the safety of everyone, as he didn't want to spread the virus should he become infected. So the rules were non-negotiable. Janelle felt that it was too much, as it included disinfecting groceries and cleaning mail with alcohol wipes. Christine agreed that some were unrealistic. Only Mary and Robin didn't mind following the rules, if it meant being with Cody. Robin became upset when she felt that her sister wives were somehow blaming her, as they thought she was responsible for making these protocols. Cody believed that not trusting in his decision regarding the safety of the family meant that his wives were being disloyal and disrespectful to him. Some of his children didn't understand why they couldn't spend time with their father freely. They felt that some of the restrictions he imposed were unreasonable, and it caused friction between them and their father. Mary simply couldn't handle having sister wives, and it took a toll on her relationship with Cody, to the point when they could no longer tolerate being around each other, and she felt that he was shutting her out of his life completely. They talked to a marriage counselor, and it helped somewhat as they tried to understand each other. However, Cody divorced Mary in 2014 so that he could marry Robin and adopt her children from her previous marriage. Mary was involved in a catfishing scandal the following year. She was hurting as she pushed Cody away, telling him to stop staying at her house, and it led to her falling for someone online who preyed on her vulnerability and pretended to be a guy. She had to come clean to her family when she discovered the deception, and things went ugly with the imposter. Her relationship with Cody deteriorated, and when his bitterness and anger subsided, he lost any romantic inclinations towards her and only considered her as a friend, and a distant one at that. Christine was totally disillusioned by the way things turned out after Cody married Robin, and then the whole family moved to Flagstaff, Arizona in 2018. She said that she wasn't an equal partner in the relationship, feeling that she didn't have any say when it came to making major decisions, especially those that would affect her and her children. She also shared that Cody was no longer interested in being intimate with her, so she packed up all his things from her house. In her November 2021 Instagram post, she announced that she was leaving Cody after 25 years of being together, but added, we will continue to be a strong presence in each other's lives as we parent our beautiful children and support our wonderful family. Cody was saddened by this, but he respected Christine's decision and said that they would remain committed parents even as they went their separate ways. I have a wonderful family, a perfectly happy family with beautiful wives and beautiful children, Cody said. Loving four wives might be easy for him, but for his wives, sharing one man definitely wasn't. Except for Janelle, his wives grew up in a polygamous family, so they knew firsthand what it entailed. Most of them were attracted to the idea of sisterhood, but the reality of having a sister wife was far more difficult to accept and live with each day. Jealousy would often rear its ugly head, despite each one claiming that they loved the lifestyle and that it was what they wanted. As much as Cody enjoyed plural marriage, it comes with challenges that include dealing with each wife's jealousy, insecurity, and needs. Somehow, they had to learn to support one another and work as a team, as one big family. He said, Our acceptance of the doctrine of plural marriage allows us to transcend our limitations and become enlightened. However, ultimately, things didn't work out the way he wanted them to, as they grew apart and gave up working on their marriages. The reality TV show Sister Wives premiered on TLC on 26 September 2010 and finished airing its 16th season in January 2022. People are waiting for the announcement regarding the fate of the show, although there were reports that the Brown family has started filming for season 17. However, reality may have other ideas. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.